be short. So Liz is perfect, perfectly situated in her <laughs> cup. <laughs> but for the rest of you, you can get comfortable. You can, um, you know, I kind of like to have both of my feet connected to the ground, but um, if you want to lie back, that's totally fine. This is for you. So however you're comfortable. Um, so, yeah, so I just wanted to call in and invite, I have my, my crazy medicine stuff that's got like all kinds of craziness. No coyote on here, but there's like deer and oh hair and turkey <laughs> and owl and snake and hummingbird and woodpecker and cedar waxwing and the, the stick is made out of a, a beaver um, piece of wood that was it's been chewed up by beaver. Um, because what I want this meditation and the beginning of this for the intention to be is for in this next sharing and this next um, circling up of us as women for us to really feel into kind of our animal bodies so that we can open our sensations up, open up our hearing, open up um, our, our deeper seeing of one another, open up, you know, um, the senses. So we've, we've shared some Mary Oliver through the years and we all know that wild geese, beautiful poem. And there's that line, um, you only have to let the soft, animal of your body love what it loves. So for this uh, meditation, I invite you to bring your awareness to your breathing here. And there's no right or wrong in this meditation. You can just feel into inhaling, deepening into your body, softening your eyes, Maybe neutralizing your shoulders a little bit, maybe rolling them back a few times. You're welcome to move around, sit still, however you are called. And so um, I invite you also to close your eyes. You don't have to if that doesn't feel comfortable. And we're just going to walk in towards our deeper inner knowing and inner landscape into the cells and the bones and the organs and allow for them to relax. It's sort of like that corpse pose where there's stillness and there's no need to be anywhere or do anything. Just an invitation to be in the moment maybe connecting a few more times to your breathing. You welcome in the inhale and exhale. Take a moment just to kind of regard it as the friend that it is. It's been with you since your first moment, earth side out of the womb. It will be with you until your last moment here on earth. We're welcoming in the breath as a tool to open up our imaginations and going deep into that imagination, the playground that it once was for us as children. You know, when we were sitting around, maybe for some of us, the tea party or the, you know, whatever it was, Barbies or GI Joes or, you know, that it didn't take much to imagine things to a point that they felt real to us. So as we do this meditation, um, it's okay if, if you don't feel anything, there's no right or wrong again, maybe you just feel something, maybe you will see something visually in your imagination. Maybe you just get a knowing. But I want to invite in our beloved um, guardians, our spirit guides, our angels to be here with us and to witness us in circle. 
maybe the coyote, maybe it's, um, you know, it's different for all of us. So you can <clears throat> imagine from where you're sitting, your body is staying still, but in your imagination, you can go to your front door and kind of open it and you get to choose what the scene is that you walk out into. It doesn't have to be the reality of the snow right now. It can be beach, it can be tropical forest, it can be mountain, somewhere beautiful that is special to you on the earth that you resonate so deeply with that when you go there, you feel like you're held by your grandmother, that kind of loving connection. Wherever you're at, you're going to walk up until you see a big, beautiful tree. And again, it's your tree, your own tree of life can look, it can be full of birds, um, snakes, however you choose it. it, could be flowering, fruiting, it could be small, it could be just a baby sapling tree. And you can shrink or grow to the size of the tree that you are comfortable climbing up it to the very top of this tree. And in the top, one of the highest branches in this tree, there, you'll find a nest there. And so you'll climb in the nest. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna welcome in one of um, our winged spiritual guardians. It could be an angel or Isis or eagle hawk coming in to take you from the nest. And that ally helper is gonna carry us up into the upper world and deposit us into a heaven of our own creation and our mind. And in this heaven, <clears throat> there's a circle of beings. And you realize these are your very own, this is your council, this is your circle of elders, perhaps ancestors that have come before you, that have been watching over you and loved you into being before you were even you know, even before you were even a thought in your mother's mind, they, they loved you before that. They loved you for lifetimes. Perhaps the Sekhmet and Hestia are there that we called in for the specific healing. The Queen of Swords. And they're here <clears throat> to offer you a gift. So I'm just going to drum quietly for just a minute or two, and you can engage with these, with your council. Um, <clears throat> maybe Bridget is there. It could be, um, we have so many different types of guardians. It could be from the animal world, the elements, water, fire. So the council, your very own council, is handing you the gift that you can put into your medicine pouch. 
maybe a little egg or a seed, little crystal, rose quartz, just a little piece of medicine that is perfect for you to help you remember that your council is always with you and that there's a seat for yourself always at your own council. There's always an empty seat that's reserved for you and the choices that you make for yourself. And so this council circles around you and love and support and hugs you and holds you and allows you to release tears, release any rage or anger until you know you're just feeling loved by them and you're able to be in that space of reciprocal energy you can love them back and then send them your gratitude maybe it's um, some loved ones that you haven't seen in a long time are there give them an extra special hug and let them know that you'll be seeing them again. And then you can ride a back on the back or be picked up by your winged ally who returns you back to your nest. And then you're gonna come down the tree, climb back down your tree. And then you're gonna call in an animal spirit guide. So whether it's a four-legged or um, an ocean, you know, whale, dolphin, solar queen, mountain lion, whatever animal comes in for you, you can either <clears throat> ride upon it or you can actually, because our imaginations are so powerful, you can become that animal being. Again, no right or wrong. It could be a little mouse. It could be, you know, a beetle. It could be, doesn't have to be something grandiose, a skunk, groundhog, cow. So many possibilities. Because each animal, just like each human, is put on this earth with its gifts, its tools, its profound sense of belonging to something greater. So as you're sitting aside along on top of or realizing yourself as this animal, allow for the senses that it specializes in. So, you know, the bat has incredible hearing, the hawk has amazing vision, whatever it is that your animal has that is special, that strength that it has, you can invite that into your own being. Again, allowing for the soft animal of your body to love what it loves. And then <clears throat> you might even see some other friends, some other, your herd, <laughs> your tribe taking a moment to enjoy your family and then coming back returning back into your body Last moment of gratitude towards your animal spirit guide. And before you say goodbye, maybe you have a question for it. Maybe you wanna know, you know, what its unique medicine is for you. And if you put that intention out there, you might not get an answer right away, but it will come. It will come in the next day or so. If you forget, maybe write it down after this meditation or and then you're just going to return to your body. 
Remembering to soften again, soften deeper into the shoulders, into the bones. And then we're gonna come out, taking a deep inhalation and exhalation, just to be present into each other's space. So when you're ready, you can open your eyes.